Hi, thanks for clicking on today's video. My name is Jackie and welcome to my channel, Hearth and Apron. So today's video is going to be a whole lot of cleaning content as well as a sneak peek into my holiday decor. And you guys, I'm so excited. I don't know about you, I am just ready to have that holiday decor up. Let me know, have you guys already decorated? Um, I feel like I'm kind of getting a little bit late to the game this year, but I just cannot wait to see how everything turns out and to give you kind of a sneak peek as to where I'm going this year. Now, we're gonna start out by just doing a really great clean on my house. It is very important to my process to have a clean slate for me to be creative with my decor. Now, but I wanna know, how do you guys like to de decorate? Do you guys like to do your cleaning as you're decorating or do you like to have it done beforehand as well? Or do you just put the decor up and get everything cleaned once it's all done? Because goodness knows, as you put it up, it does create a little bit of a mess. But let's head over to my kitchen and really quick, I just wanted to show you guys how I make my favorite coffee because I'm curious how you like to make your favorite coffee. As I was getting ready and preparing for my co cocoa bar this year, I really started thinking about all the different ways that you can have just a fun, fun drink at home. And I'd love to get any advice from you guys as to what you guys like to have in your coffee bar as well as your favorite flavors. Anyways though, let's go ahead and get cleaning and get this party started. I'll see you in the kitchen. So don't forget to let me know down below how you like to make your favorite coffee at home. Mine is super simple. I like to have a mocha, but it is so good. As simple as it is, it is that good. Basically, I add two scoops of hot cocoa mix, some half and half, and then fill it up with coffee, mix it up, add some whipped cream and sprinkles, and it is ready to go. And you guys, this is my absolute favorite coffee. I like it just as much as Starbucks. It brings me so much happiness when it comes to the coffee department. It's like hot cocoa, but with all the caffeine. And so anyways, don't forget to let me know what your favorite way to have your coffee is down below. Okay, so we're starting out with these dishes here because frankly they are my arch nemesis and I absolutely hate dishes. And so I like to knock them out first so they're not waiting for me all maliciously in the back. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna get these wrapped up and then we are gonna go ahead and do a super good deep clean on this kitchen. It really needed it down from like the outside of the cupboards and everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And let me know when was the last time you guys did a deep clean on your kitchen? Left 
just thinking that maybe you're not different going through so many dishcloths and things just trying to use the spray so I could smell my awesome Mrs. Myers scent that I was really becoming impractical. So I decided to make a nice soapy little bucket with one of my favorite scrubbies. Um, it's by Eve Cloth, but then I ended up spilling it all over myself. So you're going to notice that my pants change here in a minute, but if you guys not have, tr have not tried out these little scrubbies from Eat Cloth, they're available at Grove and you guys, they work so well for dishes. They work on stainless steel. They are just fantastic. I've started getting a collection and I absolutely recommend them. Oh no, I don't want to be tucked in someone else's arms. Close my door cause I need my time Wanna speak so loud even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of here You don't know me, I just need my time Yeah But they say
snakes haunt us, but do they really don't us? Your tongue can be sharp, you've cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. And the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know when we are too far apart, everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes. most of my recording at night if you guys did not know this we have a small home and I like to not monopolize all of my living area while everyone is trying to use it I know sometimes we just can't avoid that but when I can I try to do it in the evening but consequently sometimes that leaves me needing to go to bed halfway through a project and I try to give myself that grace and just say you can only do as much as you can physically and like emotionally and mentally handle and nobody is perfect no matter how hard I try but before we get continue going, and we're just going to pick up right where we left off yesterday, I tried to do as much cleaning as I could to get us right back where we were. But first, I wanted to show you a couple of the items that I picked up for my holiday decor this year and kind of tell you the vibe and what I'm trying to pull in this year for my decor. So, if you are OG and you watched last year, you know that I like to have kind of inspiration by things to inspire my decor. And for the past several years, I have been pulling in kind of a Harry Potter magical themed inspiration, but this year I really wanted to change it up. I love this show and book series called Outlander, and they're coming out with a new book this Tuesday. And so I just felt it was fate. This year is going to have a Razor's Ridge vibe. Now, if you don't know what that means or you are not familiar with the show, Quick recap, it is a 1940s combat nurse who falls back in time to the 1743 Jacobite Rising, and she's now in the American Revolution time. So, what I'm trying to do is, I'm not one of those people that when I pull in a theme like this, like I like to do books or anything, I like to put myself in that situation. So when it was Harry Potter last year, what would um, Hermione's house be decorated like? What would Ron or Harry's house be decorated like? This year, I want to think these characters themselves live in revolutionary America and North Carolina in a place called Fraser's Ridge. But they have time travelers, so the traditions, things that we think of for Christmas would definitely be taken back with them. So I wanted to do, how would I feel that their homes might be decorated for the holiday season? As much as I could, obviously I'm not going to buy all brand new decor, but I tried to add a little bit of tweaks here and there. So. But if that is not your bag, don't worry. It definitely carries a really fun woodland vibe and it is not something that, unless I told you what my inspiration was, you probably wouldn't know automatically. So anyways though, enough chatter about that. Let me show you some of these pieces. Now, because these are Scottish immigrants coming over and they're settling this land, you know, their tartans are very important to them and so I wanted to have tartan in my decor. So I found these amazing black watch tartan scarves and I, this is the color of tartan that I just naturally love. And when I looked into it, because I wanted to be respectful to the Scottish clans and not appropriate somebody's like tartan because it's all distinctive on their families. Like you can't just wear someone's tartan. I was so excited to find out that the exact tartan that I liked was one of the acceptable ones for somebody who's not part of an official clan to wear. So yay, but this was really the inspiration for the colors everything like that that I decided to do this year. Now I'm sure you've seen this before, it is a blue, navy, like a navy blue, green and black tartan or plaid. And I just feel like it's going to add a really fun vibe. I was not able to find like traditional Christmas decor in it, so I improvised. I got a whole bunch of scarves and we're actually in the next episode, you're gonna see where I cut one of these up and I turn it into a giant garland by sewing it together. So just with one of them and then some of them I use for like a table runner and runners in other areas. And I think for something that was really inexpensive compared to normal holiday decor was just a really fun way to add those vibes that I was looking for. Now, 
because we're going with kind of that woodland natural what could you get your hands on in the late 1700s I decided wood beads would be really super on the vibe and Joanna Gaines heart and hand um, line at Target has just what I needed I absolutely love these brown beads and especially because these aren't the traditional color of like wooden beads they kind of have that dark color and I really like that now, a lot of these other pieces I did pick up at World Market. I love World Market. They have so many fun things, but I was super excited to find these little goodies this year. Now, I found this adorable little like dough. I think she's super cute because she doesn't have an overly Christmas vibe. If you look, her head actually has flowers. And so I feel like this is something that I can carry over and use in maybe some of my spring decor. So that was like a double win for me. Now. This little baby is this adorable little raccoon. He was actually a gift, so I can't tell you where he came from. But these amazing moss trees, I got them in two different sizes, and these also came from World Market. I absolutely love them. The moment that I saw them online, I just knew that they needed to be part of my decor this year. And you'll see, like, obviously none of these items are themed in with my book. They're just kind of natural wood woodsy touches that I feel like a homestead in the middle of the woods might have. And plus, honestly, I just love them and have them, and I like that woodland vibe. So, and I felt like that would help to make it so my themed fun could work for everyone. Now, look at this adorable little fox, and he's kind of like perched up. Okay, he was something that when I saw him, I knew he had to be mine. Not named yet, but it's coming. If you guys have any name suggestions for my adorable fox, let me know. And then look at this beautiful fox right here. He is so soft and I got him from Ross and I just think he is going to be the perfect touch in my bathroom because I have those like teal dark colored walls and kind of like a snowy shower curtain that I'm going to be adding in there and he's just going to totally pop with his unique coloring. Now one of the few last things that I want to show you before we switch over. Look at this pillowcase cover. Isn't it beautiful? I love the watercolor vibe. Um, so I got some of these as well as some green velvet pillow covers to go for my couch. And actually I even found some old frames and refinished them and printed out these really cute pictures that I purchased off Etsy for five bucks. And I'm just loving that watercolor vibe. You're gonna see more of that in my bedroom with some of my decor that I've had previously. I also found these Holly Jolly vibe napkins from World Market that I thought were super cute. Now, up next, I'm gonna show you super quick what our pajamas are gonna look like for this year. Now, we loved, or I, let's be honest, I love to do matching pajamas. <laughs> and so I found some really cute ones that went exactly with my color theme from World, um, sorry, from Old Navy. And so the only difference is I found us all the matching pants and then I changed up the shirt color so that it would give us each our own individual vibe. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and wrap up the kitchen here, but I wanted to know what is your decor like this year? What colors are you using? What influences? What are the things you're most excited about it? As my friend Vanessa would say, I want to know all about it. If you have not heard of Vanessa before, she's absolutely adorable and outstanding. She has a site called Vanessa Beauty here on YouTube, and she does all kinds of just really motivating different unboxings and things, and she's just such an encouraging, wonderful person. Check her out. But... I had to say her little quote because I want to hear all about what you're doing for your holiday decor.
don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. 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 And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. Just thought I should let you know. Yeah, now, no one's so no more. No. Covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat, yeah we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. button if you haven't already as well as that notification bell because up next 
my holiday decor. You guys, I'm so, 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 so thrilled to be getting it done and to be taking you along with me. So make sure to be there or be square. You don't want to miss it. Uh, thank you so much. I will see you next time and I hope you have an absolutely magical day.